Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, and welcome back to AEL. Now, if you're new to this channel, please go down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yeah. Cheers. Got another short circuits kit to build today. This is from Volume 2, Project 22. They call it the FM Radio Station Project. The book calls it the three stage FM transmitter. There's the catalogue number for people playing at home. This is a three-stage radio transmitter so stable it could be used as a small radio station. Your audience will be limited to the backyard as there are rules about transmitting power. Countless applications such as wireless audio link and baby monitor. Kit includes PCB with overlay, electret microphone and electronic components. Requires a 9 volt battery. So I'll have a look at the schematic in just a moment but I'm going to open up the contents of the kit. There's a useless preamble. There's the battery clip. Uh, set of components, some solder, trim cap, a length of wire for the antenna, and a very, very tiny PCB. All the resistors mount standing up. They've given you a provision here for an on-off switch which you don't have to use, but you must look at the instructions. Go away, Facebook. Um, yeah, it's not that real complicated to put together. There's a good look at the underside of the PCB. Nothing really spectacular. A little bit of a ground plane going on here. Okay, so let's look at the schematic. Now this is said to consist of three stages because each of the three transistors Q1, 2 and 3 and the components around them have a separate and clearly defined role. Example Q1 and its parts form a common emitter audio amplifier stage which takes the weak audio signals produced by the electric microphone and boosts them so they're strong enough to modulate the frequency of our RF oscillator stage which is formed by Q2. Q2 oscillates and provides RF energy because the 5.6 picofarad capacitor between its collector and emitter couples some of its collector energy back to its input without a polarity reversal. So there is positive feedback and it oscillates at our chosen frequency in the FM band because its collector load is a tuned circuit formed by L1 and the trim cap. The trim cap is tuned so that the circuit resonates and has a maximum impedance at this frequency. By feeding the amplified audio signal from Q1 to the base of Q2 via the 100 nanofarad capacitor, we allow the audio to vary the bias voltage at Q2's base. This varies both Q2's gain and also its internal capacitances, which in turn varies its oscillating frequency. This is how we achieve frequency modulation or FM. Q3 and the parts around it form the RF amplifier stage, which takes the modest RF output from the oscillator and boosts it to a strength to feed out to our antenna. We pick off some of the RF voltage from the tap on coil L1 and feed it into the base of Q3. The amplified RF pulses, which appear at the collector of Q3, then kick into oscillation the output tune circuit or tank formed by coil L3 and the 27 picofarad across it and also coil L2 and the 10 picofarad across it. The use of two LC tune circuits in the collector circuit of Q3 allows us to provide a lower impedance output to the antenna and also helps reduce any harmonics or other unwanted output signals. And that's how it works. So let's look at the schematic, it's not that complicated. Um, the good thing is with these parts it appears the inductors are already wound, so I don't have to wind them. But there's enamel copper wire ones and a tin copper wire one, so I've got to be sure to get the right one in the right place. I believe the tin copper wire one is for the one where we put the tap, center tap on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the parts out of the bag. So the Electrap microphone already has some leads on it so I don't need to uh, solder any wires on but what I want to do is I want to actually inject an audio signal into this circuit board so I don't actually want to build the Q1 stage up just yet uh, I just want to build Q2 and Q3, so we've got the modulator and or RF modulator oscillator and the RF amplifier stages there, just so I can pump in a 
frequency from a frequency generator and pick it up on an FM radio. So this is going to be very, very exciting, I think. thing built. The biggest problem I had was this stupid inductor trying to solder the center tap on there. I tried it with in the board. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, I ended up taking it back out, splitting the uh, wire apart so I could actually get it to solder where I wanted it to and not get solder everywhere else. So I haven't got the input stage built up as I said. I'm injecting it directly into this 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor here, which is the input or the to the base of um, Q2. I'm going to use this kit radio that I built because it gives me a accurate display of what frequency this is modulating at. I put a link wire in where the switch is, so it's making connection between the negative and the negative rail so the circuit will work. So I guess I will plug in the radio and get set up to do a preliminary test. I'll worry about an oscillator in just a minute. Alrighty, um, got the power supply set to 9 volts and 200 MA current limit. And I've turned it on, we're currently drawing 41 MA, which is okay. So let's see where where we are on the band here. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not finding it yet. Okay, I'm not able to find the signal. So I'm going to have to set up something else because I don't think this kit radio is that great. Alright, I found it. We're operating around about uh, 91 point something. I'm not exactly 100% sure because I'm using an analog tuner off to my right here. And there's a lot of noise there because it's coming off of a switch mode power supply. So I might switch over to a linear supply. That's kind of not any better. All right. What happened there? That's better. Hmm. Let me hook up an oscillator. Well, it's receiving 
I think I've got a little bit too loud. Uh, yeah, it is working. I'm just wishing I knew what frequency it was on. Interestingly though, the instructions come with the kit. Nice. So the little circuit does work. Um, I will build up the input stage shortly, but all that effort I went through to get this bloody coil done was probably worth it. Well I, well, I did manage to find out it's on exactly 91.0 megahertz according to the other kit radio. I finally got the frequency there. It does keep drifting a bit though. Alright, so I guess it's uh, time to build up the input stage. And for some reason, they gave me some diodes, but I know what they're for now. It's for a little RF detector thing that you can connect to a multimeter to actually adjust the circuit a little bit better. So, I'm going to kill the volume on that because it's annoying as hell. Um, Kill the oscillator and I'm going to build up the rest of the circuitry here. I'll do that off camera and we'll come back in just a moment. Microphone is hooked up now. Testing one, two, three. I don't know if you were able to hear that. Because uh, all it's going to do is just feedback. Wow, it's even picking up my voice from over here and putting it out through the speakers. Nice. Okay. Well, it appears to work. I'm just picking up some noise from somewhere. It's probably the computer. Let's move the antenna. Man, it's... Testing one two 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 testing one two two three two 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 testing one two 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 I keep shorting the supply two 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 two, two. testing one two 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 yep okay that's enough of that <laughs> So that's the little three stage transmitter built and tested. It works for what it is. What could you use this for? Well, this microphone is so sensitive you could use it as a bug in a room, like you could put it across in a corner somewhere um, and pick up voices on the other side of the room and listen in on a radio somewhere else. What's the range of this thing? Mm, no idea, probably about 20, 30 meters or so. Um, it's enough to go from one side of the house to the other, I would reckon. You'd be better off running off of a 9 volt battery because you'd get less noise. Uh, apparently that's what I'm getting. It was designed to run on a 9 volt battery anyway, not a mains power supply. But the kit is a pain in the ass to assemble and very fiddly and time consuming. It took me 45 minutes. 45 minutes just to assemble a two stage section. Bloody unreal. Anyway. I'm going to leave this video here and if you enjoyed it please remember to go down below like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always this is the Astro 30 saying see ya, have a great day.